SLR, a stylish action saga with room for growth. Yo, what's up? Movie FAM. It's your boy your name here, fresh off the adrenaline rush. That is Prabha's latest action extravaganza, Salah. Now, before we dive into this review, let me just say, buckle up. This film is a roller coaster of high octane action, electrifying stunts, and Prabha's in peak Bardon's mode. But, like any thrill ride, Salah has its bumps along the way. So, let's dissect this beast and see what draws and what whimpers. First things first, Krabbers owns this film. He's like a one-man army, mowing down battles with the grace of a panther and the fury of a well. Really angry and The action sequences are brutal, balletic, and undeniably entertaining. From a warehouse brawl that's like John Wick in the series, to a mind-blowing train heist that will leave you gospel for air. Salah throws everything at the wall and most of it sticks. The visuals are feast for the eyes. Director Prashant really knows how to make the brain sick. And Salah is a symphony of action, color, and stunning landscapes. The cinematography is top not capturing the gritty underbelly of the criminal world, alongside the gritty and beauty of the Indian countryside. But here's the thing, Salah isn't just about the action. There's a story brewing here, a tale of vengeance and redemption to by the trail and lost. However, the story gets a bit lost in the midst of all the explosions and flying fists. The supporting characters, while intriguing, left the dead to truly resonate. And the plot, while engaging, could have used some more fleshy help. Also, the romance angle felt a bit poor. I mean, Travis and Shruti Hansen have undeniable chemistry, but their love story feels like an afterthought, tacked on to give the feel some emotion. It works in some scenes. But in others, it feels like a distraction in the event. Over, Salah is a wildly entertaining action flick that delivers on thrills and visual spectacle. Prabhas is a force to be reckoned with, and the action sequences are truly jaw-dropping. But the film stumbles when it comes to developing its story and characters. It's a style-over-substance kind of deal, and while that's perfectly fine for a popcorn muncher, it leaves you wanting more depths come the end credits. So, should you watch Salah? Absolutely. It's a non-stop ride that'll leave you pumped and breathless. Just don't expect Shakespeare. But hey, sometimes all you need is a good old-fashioned action flick to blow off some steam, and Salah delivers in spades. Just leave your brain at the door and enjoy the ride. And that's my two cents on Salah. What did you guys think? Did it leave you wanting more? Or were you satisfied with the action-packed bunch it delivered? Hit the comments below and let's discuss. Until next time, stay frosty. PSS, keep an eye out for that post credit scene. Let's just say, Salatu might be even wilder than the first.